It's a big day. I still really don't believe it. I gotta, I gotta see everyone down at takeoff to believe it. I feel like I'm going to like an open blast off. It's gonna be like 375,000 boats, like 800 people everywhere. My kangaroo pouch. I'm gonna be pretty jacked up, I'm not gonna lie. Ronnie Moore, I'm only having half a cup of coffee today, okay? I literally couldn't do it. If I did a full coffee, it's important your truck starts the day before the tournament. What? <laughs> yeah. That's the bestest ever crunk! <laughs> I, I, I know. Dude, the other day, I was <laughs> It's gonna be a good day, boys. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, God, let's go. This is my first year, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just heard that. Yeah. This is crazy. This is your first tournament. <laughs> oh, shit. Cold, cold, cold. Fast Fast Tour winner, Jacob Krosnick. Master Classic Qualifier from Texas, Brad Watley. For the very first time on the Bassmaster Elite Series, he's the Bassmaster Open winner, a classic qualifier. Give me a little love for Kyle. Patrick. What? Time, Kyle. what? Four o'clock. Yeah. God dang it. White bass, yellow bass, and striped bass are all found in Toledo Bend Reservoir, but don't count towards the five fish limit in Bassmaster tournaments. I got my heart racing. I don't think that's gonna do too much for us. It has to be 15, right? 14. 14? Yeah. No! <sighs> giant. Good one. Same fish I just lost, not even kidding. I watched him swim down and threw at him. Two pounds, six ounces. I'm shaking like a leaf, dude. <laughs> I feel like less of an idiot. Dude, if I could just get 13 or 14 and feel a little comfortable, it'd be nice.
It's not the ones we're looking for, but they're filler fish. You know what I mean? Three pounds, three ounces. This one weighs number four, 114. Stay on. Yeah, baby. It's a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. Eww. 313. Two ten. Pulls out number four. To grind, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if I can catch like a six. Yeah. I'll be honest, like I don't like to catch them this way. It's not fun for me. Yeah. But at a certain point, you gotta do what's gonna get you paid to make a living. You know what I mean? That's why I don't like when people bitch about it. It's like, you don't realize how hard, how hard it is to do this for a living, you know? Yeah. Like truly for a living, not just like, you know, this is serious shit. <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh gosh. He slack line. That's not a good sign. Oh no. Oh no. They're blasting them in the grass. Gosh. I gotta go find grass right now. 214. Pulls number two. Dude, he's smoked it. It's not a bad call. Stay on. Please stay on. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. He said, Mwah. I was, dude, I was barely hooked. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Number four. Four, seven. Come on now. It took me a little bit. I was a little jacked up this morning. I ain't going to lie to you. When Dave Mercer said, uh, Bassmaster Open winner, Bassmaster Classic qualifier, I was like, I, you know what I mean? I, I just didn't know how to react. And then I'm going 70 down a bumpy Toledo Bend. I was just like, holy sh... Oh. No. Good God. <laughs> Dude, when I leaned into that, I literally, oh. Uh, it felt like a bite, too. That's crazy.
Kyle and his cameraman have a running joke that whenever there's a battery or lens change, Kyle will catch a fish. Perfect. You do it right now so I can catch my seven. Do you get the big one, the four and a half? Nice. No way. Not a big one. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude, it's every time, I'm not kidding. There's no way this helps, right? I'm just gonna balance beam them just in case. Cause it is kinda sketchy when it gets, it says 213. I think two is still gonna win. That was fun though. Oh yeah, that'll help. What is it? Well, I don't know, but I'm yeah. assuming. Yep. Three eight. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at that bass, dude. That bass is so messed up. His gills coming out of his. Is that gonna help? There ain't no way. Watch out. Yes! Yes! Yeah, baby! It got hung up on the tree! And then, and then he ate it off the tree. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Six pounds. Six pounds. Wow. Six pounder, baby. Let's go. Tyler, you sack him, bud? Did you sack him? All right, you guys have been awesome with our rookies, but well, we got another one, so keep the noise coming. Welcome him right from Cooperstown, New York, a Bassmaster Open winner. Get loud for Kyle Patrick. <laughs> Kyle Patrick's been working to get right here on the Bassmaster Elite Series stage, and he's making it matter. Five all alive. Kyle Patrick, day number one, 21 pounds, nine ounces, and he is inside our top 10, rounding out our top 10 in 10th place. And if you wondered whether these rookies were for real after day number one, I would say they are 100% for real. And the rookie class showing out in a big way here 
in this first event, and uh, how special is this for you to be on the Elite Series stage? It's, I, I don't have words for it. I, I've waited a long time for this. Um, so cool to be up here with you, and um, happy I caught him on my first day. I was a little worried about that, but um, no, it was an awesome day. Uh, I want to thank everyone that supports me. It's really, really tricky to do this, to try to do this for a living, and um, you know, all the support means the world, and thank you guys for coming out. Toledo Ben, you guys are awesome. Kyle begins day two in 15th place after a strong start yesterday. But he's going to need another 20-pound bag if he hopes to stay within striking distance of the top 10. Yeah. I don't even think it's the damn keeper. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the fattest fish I've ever seen. I don't even think he's gonna go four inch, 14 inches. Jesus! I've never seen anything that fat either. Ever, ever. <laughs> How much do you think this fish weighs? Two and three quarters. 115. No way. 114. I think that'll keep. One, one time. I ain't complaining with a limit of two pounders. Said I'm not gonna complain with a limit of two pounders, I just need bigger ones. Not gonna keep, I don't think. One twelve. Now those ones are small. <laughs> Just to start. That's pretty nice. I'm pretty cast. That is definitely sweet. Number four. Three, four. I need five more of them and then we can start working. How about that? I land, cast, 
Ba-bing! <laughs> That's so funny. L literally, my, my boat was still moving from my engine. <laughs> That one was hard to get to bite behind the boat. You see that? <laughs> I'll tell you. Three, six. One thing that I believe makes me good is not giving up when you think it won't bite. Because it is easy to, you know, to, to not to just stop casting at it and move on. And so you gotta differentiate like a fish that's a lost cause versus, you know, a fish that's gonna be like, that, that may bite. I mean, it's skinny as a rail, but it's a call, Jesus. Number two. Five. Yeah. Three's gone. Yes! Four seven. Four seven, baby. On this feet we're special. As the sun rises and the temperature warms, Kyle moves to the shore to do some sight fishing. There he is. See him swimming? Oh yeah. It's a good one. Pack. As soon as I put the poles down, choo. Oh, that's a big one. Did you just say that's what she said? Right there, look, two and a half pounder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I might try to catch it to see what it weighs, actually. Boom. I don't know. You sure that doesn't help? Wow. I don't think she helps, but I could be wrong. Oh ho ho. We got a tie, boys. Number three versus number one. Which one is heavier? Only time will tell. It was a call. Oh, look at that. That's why the balance beam is literally the most important thing in the whole boat.
Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Three versus two. That was such a crucial fish. Oh my God, that was crucial. Despite having over two hours left to fish, Kyle was unable to catch another bass. Series of rookie needs you to get real, real loud from Cooperstown, New York. Let me hear for Kyle Patrick. Look at this crowd. Woo. 21 pounds, nine ounces yesterday. If you're impressed with this crowd, wait till you see him tomorrow because you're going to be part of it tomorrow. Five fish here today, 17 pounds, four ounces, and Kyle Patrick unofficially makes his very first cut on the Bassmaster Elite Series in sixth place with 38 pounds and 13 ounces. That's the way you want to start your Elite Series career. And if you like this crowd, wait till tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. I'm pumped up. Uh, couldn't ask for anything more to make my first cut. That was the goal. Obviously, we have bigger goals, but I like to, you know, ladder my goals. So making the cut's a big thing. Um, this, this really is a great crowd, guys. Don't let them sell it short. Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm just saying, that, am I wrong? Is tomorrow not going to be crazy here, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not selling. I'm just saying they're just warming up. You have no idea the sea of humanity that's going to come down here to see grown men in weird jerseys hold up bass. It is amazing that you guys show up the way you do. Kyle made the cut in his first ever Bassmaster Elite tournament and sits in 18th place going into semifinal Saturday. But if he wants to fish on Sunday, he's going to have to find bigger fish. Practice is going to be trash. <laughs> Have a good one, dude. Thanks. Right behind him, a two time FLW tour. Took a win here last year in the Bassmaster Open. He's a four time Bassmaster Classic Wallafon winner from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. Another one of our amazing rookie class. Two Bassmaster Open win last year. Let's catch some bagging, son. I'm gonna do some random shit today. I'm with you, brother. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Can you imagine? Just drop down. <laughs> Six. <laughs> God, I love tournament bass fishing. All right, we're leaving. That'll work. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, it will. <laughs> Come on! Ah. <laughs> That's fun. That is fun. <laughs> Come here, pal. Get in the boat, boy. 
He didn't fight at all. Came straight up, didn't he? Number one, three nine. I love it when I get all the spots on. He came out of super deep water. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> Thank you, sir. If I don't catch one here, I should catch one on that point there. They were, they were on it pretty good. <gasps> oh! He, he got it too. I did, he smoked it. God! <laughs> Woo! No, the, the first one that got it was bigger. I'd be so happy if I caught like a 10 pounder in here. On the jig, no less. Not even the one. Three twelve. Socks coming off. What does that mean? No shoes, baby. Time to put some big ones in the boat. Fat. Oh shit. Sorry to hit no, no, I, it was my fault. Oh. I left the uh, aerator running. Oh. Number three, two pounds, three ounces. <laughs> no! Kyle tried to boat flip a four pounder and his line snapped. Idiot. Though typically a reliable maneuver, this loss could come back to haunt him. I'm not gonna do a Wesley Gore again. That was stupid. That was stupid. Wow, that is a messed up looking fish. I know. Almost looks like a peacock bass. Two pounds, two ounces, I know. Two. Yeah. These fish have super sharp teeth. So I think what happened on that last one, I should have been able to boat flip that fish, I think. But the line was frayed from that striper. That's what it was. The line was frayed from the striper. Biggin. Oh my God. Yep. It was fighting like a big one for a second. Be a bass. It is. Oh my God. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three pounds, eight ounces. Two more big ones, dude. Two more big ones.
I know. Potentially. There it is, number four. Aw, bye bud. That was a pretty good move, huh? That was a great move. Thanks, man. Giant, giant. Oh, thought that was a giant. Kyle lands yet another striper, his fourth of the day. I thought that was the one, dude. Holy smokes, it looked so big. And then I felt the dunk. I was like, oh, God dang, that got me freaking jacked all up. Just hear Wesley say he caught at seven and then lost a seven. That, that's after up. I'm going to the classic, dude. It's insane. Freaking insane. See, for me, like, I, this is my first elite event. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just made it, so it's like, everything just feels so strange. Dude, these fish are the worst. They're the worst. The problem is, you gotta catch them when they're hungry. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's weird windows and I, I think it just is random, like one fish to the next. Or you just have Kiyoya's baits. I'm just looking for one stump. And that is a spawning largemouth. No, nah, it not. won't, but that's a really good sign. I mean, that's a really good sign. God, I wanted it to be bigger. Dude, they're getting on these stumps, man. It's just a matter of time before a big one's on there. I mean, they're, they're on them. In about three days, this is gonna be the best spot ever. It's been almost two and a half hours since Kyle has culled a fish, and he's running out of time if he hopes to make a significant move up the leaderboard. As day three comes to a close, Kyle decides to stop at one last spot just outside of check-in, hoping to find some last-minute magic. That'll help. Four goes. That was cool. I wish I had more time. No joke, I wish I had more time. 254. You never know, that may have got me like four extra points. Eighteen. I don't have shoes. I just realized that. I don't have shoes on. I don't have any shoes.
Another one of our Elite Series rookies, so I need you to get extra loud. He's a Bassmaster Open winner from Cooperstown, New York, Kyle Patrick. 38 pounds and 13 ounces. After two days of competition, five fish to add to that here today. Looking for 15-4, 15-8 inside the top 10 currently. In ninth place with 54 pounds and five ounces. Not a bad first week on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Digging deep in that Cross City way and back. Get loud for Kyle Patrick. Kyle, you have dreamed of this moment for a long time, and you have worked incredibly hard to get here. And uh, how does that feel? Honestly, I was insulted. I, I felt like you insulted the crowd yesterday when you said it wasn't that big compared to today. This is ridiculous, guys. Holy smokes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, no, I, I just I, I want to thank you guys and Bassmaster. This is just Un uh, astonishing to be standing here in front of all you guys weighing in fish not the bag i was looking for but i think uh you know we got a good check in our first tournament and on to fork a great start to your season man it's awesome to have you here well just got done with the first elite event of the year finished up 21st pretty pretty thrilled with it of course the goal was to top 10 slash win but for my first event i'm pretty Pretty excited about it. What are you looking at me like that for? Says a guy that didn't have more than 12 pounds in practice. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, super, super, super excited uh, about it. And now we're rolling to fork, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got for you. <laughs>